I'm not dead. I'm alive. Asai Dokubo, voice loud, seeing his obituary pasted on the streets of Wari and Lagos. My listeners, in fact, it was a very serious shock when we equally um, observed this very um, action of the people. Pasting the photograph, the picture of Asari Dokubo as a diseased person. Yes, Asari Dokubo is ill as a result of, uh, of him ending up on a wheelchair. In fact, we also got the reports early this morning, as early as 6 a.m., that Asari Dokubo may no longer walk, according to the doctor, but still under, um, mm. still under probability, okay? But it's not dead. It's not dead. You understand? It's a, it's a shocker to many of us. Do you understand? Okay, let's quickly um, check the content and understand what this actually entails. This is morning news. The photograph of Asari Dokubo has been pasted on the streets of Wari, saying, painful exit of a legend. This information has reached Asari Dokubo as he wept bitterly, voicing loud, saying, I'm alive, I'm not dead. Asari Dokubo, who said this, is already on a wheelchair, though cannot walk, but still very much alive. He has written to the head of the Niger Delta Forum, the present chairman, the Igbo leaders, and the Ijo youth leaders, making them to understand his present situation and need for immediate action. I am on a wheelchair. I'm not dead. Though the doctor has confirmed that my bones are weak, and so I may no longer walk. That doesn't mean that I'm dead. Aside the Kubo, who has made this information possible, has pleaded to his members to disregard any information that has pasted him to be dead. I'm still alive and cannot die. No one can kill me, he said. My people in the house, um, yes, Asai Dokubo is still alive from our confirmation. You know, before you start uploading or updating your viewers, proper investigation needs to be carried out to get out the authenticity of that very broadcast that you are about passing out to the public. From our personal findings, Asai Dokubo is still alive, though he's in a very critical uh, situation, a very critical one. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But we believe, we believe that it will come out of it. Um, but um, we are trying to come out straight. We are trying to come out straight to the hearing of Asai Dokubo himself and also to the hearing of his, um, his family as well. You see, what goes around comes around, they say. Asai Dokubo should understand that his present situation is not just, uh, it, it, uh, it's not a man plan or human plan. Understand? You should look away spirituality because as it is now, he has, he has filled his head with that statement of 
they are after me. My enemies are behind it. They, are, they want to kill me and all of that. If you continue like this, he will not recover. He should just center his mind that it is a natural situation. According to the doctor's report, Asai Kubo is the cause of his, uh, of his situation. He could not be able to manage his body the way God has given it to him. He mismanaged his body. He's, he mismanaged himself. You know, that is why some of us, we suffer unnecessarily. The way God has created you, you refuse to live yourself the way God has created you. So you went on to give yourself a new look. Probably through changing of your skin. You understand? No, knowing that that is not the skin that God Almighty has given you. So what do you expect at the end of the day? That very skin that you give to yourself will start to rotten. And unfortunately, destroy the original skin that God has given you. And before you know it, you become uh, a dejected fellow. Aside the Kubo, as I'm blessed with uh, a very good body, okay, but he went on carrying himself recklessly, forgetting his weight, according to doctor's report. And if you look at it, you will see that it is true. So the way he was carrying himself, he just forgot that there is a leg attached to the body. He forgot that he is killing that leg. Not until the bones connected to that very leg became very weak. That is why you saw him on the wheelchair. Now, the issue has worsened. You understand? So, though it's a very sad story anyway, but it was concentrating on it 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 it, it, it was showing some level of concern you understand so my dear listeners i am leaving this to you to at least to look into as well and see reason why there is need for a sympathetic uh help yes i said look for need help now forget whatever he may have done you understand and see how you can give him a help as a brother you understand okay um my dear people and my dear friends in the house um i would like to hear from you i would like to know what your take and what's your opinion on this very um broadcast maybe don't forget your comments your ideas are 100 percent welcome don't forget to leave down below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.